What's going on everybody? It is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet. I am the One Man Show. Let's get right into it. We are headed into the thrift stores. Oh, and just a quick, very friendly PSA for everybody. There's a couple of ways to contact me. You can obviously contact me as we struggle looking for carts here through the comment section of this channel. My email is dadplanetofficial at gmail.com. That's probably the best way to get through to me. Some of you are sending well wishes, messages within my eBay store, which is Deals Galore USA. I see all of you and I'm thankful if you're just you know shouting, my, shouting me out, saying you like the channel, this, that, and the other. Um, I'm not likely to respond to those types of messages through my eBay store, unless of course you have a question regarding an item that you're interested in purchasing. But I don't want anybody to think that I am avoiding them if I don't respond to those kinds of messages through my eBay store. So if you could kindly maybe refrain from leaving them there and just contact me through my email deadplanetofficial at gmail.com. It's probably the best way to get a hold of me and to get a response. But I do see those messages and I'm thankful for uh, those of you that do leave them. There's just a couple of better ways to get a hold of me. And again, I don't want anyone to think that I'm alienating them or leaving you out. So with that said, we are going shopping. This was actually an interesting pickup here because video game items are pretty hard to come by. And there was a time where you couldn't give these away. This little like Skylanders starter pack. They want $13 for it. I scanned it and I was kind of pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna open it up and I see the game on the back and I'm taking a look and it looks as though the game is actually still sealed, which is a great sign. So I'm gonna check to see if it looks as though any of the components, because again, it was open and sometimes pieces and parts are missing. This one looks complete, even below the base there. There's some cards, there's like a map, there's instructions below that. Everything was still intact, so I may be able to sell this new open box. And if that is the case, I'm gonna list it for $75 because the comparables were pretty good for that specific model. The sourcing, however, in this store wasn't all that great. So I'm gonna glaze over everything. I checked the shoes, I went through some of the racks, looked at the rest of the carts, not much doing. And we're gonna move on to another store. This one is a little bit smaller. I haven't really had tons of luck in some of these local stores here lately, but spring cleaning is going to be coming up soon. That's gonna be a thing, so maybe, uh, Late February, March is when that will start to happen and these stores hopefully in most of the areas get an influx of donations from people who are trying to clear out, clean up and all of that. So check this store here. There was a Gaylord of clothing kind of just sitting here and I can't figure out like was this stuff that was pulled off of the racks or was this just a Gaylord sitting on the floor of stuff that needed to be put onto the racks. Either way, I end up pulling this Carhartt jacket which is a total score out of there because carhartt is a smoking hot bolo brand right now so this is quilted hooded it is a j130 it was in excellent condition i think it's a 2xl regular it's not a 2xl tall let me check this tag again just to make sure i'm giving you the right info yeah j130 the color was black regular length and i'm gonna price that at $100, very, very clean for a pre-owned Carhartt jacket and extremely lucky. My guess is that this is stuff that just hasn't been put out on the floor yet. At any rate, that's the only thing I could find at that store that was worth um, something I was looking to, that was, that was just worth my time. So I'm moving over to another store here. This brand of shoes, this is not a bolo if you're new, so I do not suggest you pick this up. The brand is Luca. It's just a normal slip-on. It's got a little bit of wear. They're only gonna cost me $5, but they're sold on Huckberry's website, and I think they're about $115 if you buy them brand new. I have mine listed pre-owned for 70. This is a stretch for me. I'm trying to grow my shoe inventory, and because it's a new to me brand, I'm going to test them. The comps aren't that good. In fact, I don't see really any comps at all. So this is definitely probably going to be an April, May, June, July sale, if it's a sale at all. So just keep that in mind. If it is a bona fide item to be on the lookout for or brand, I'll always try to let you know. That's one I would definitely pass up because the numbers don't really support quick turnover, fast turnover 
no velocity there. So just keep that in mind. I want to check to see if there's anything else in this area. All right, I don't see anything. So we're going to move over to the racks. And I'm trying to remember. There's a couple of things I passed on here that, uh, that one makes sense, one might not. This one here, this Blarney ireland these were like shorts this was not a kilt and honestly the comparables were not that good so i left them behind i'm wondering if you would have done the same for that brand and then mont bell this is a bolo jacket this mont bell puffer jacket be on the lookout for them probably 75 to 100 dollars plus without that damage i thought that damage was too major for me it was a very thin jacket and so I left that behind him. That's going to be somebody else's problem. Maybe it can be fixed. I'm not really sure, but it's a bolo if it's in good condition for me. And for those of you that are suffering from um, price craziness in your thrift stores, we get it too. That was an anthropology yoga mat that they had priced for 18. It's probably a $20 sale. So we're definitely passing on that, but it happens to the best of us. All of the stores kind of get out of their minds. This was a pair of Crocs that I had never seen before. The style here is Swift Water. It is a mid. Never seen them before. Size 11, really good condition. I'll be really aggressive and price them, I think, at around $25. They're sold out on Crocs website, but I have never seen those before. So that was a good pickup. And here, look, I mean, now they have Adirondack chairs priced at $17 each, and they had the yoga mat priced at, what, $18? So you never know. I didn't pick these up. If you're local to Columbus, come and grab them. They're probably actually already gone by the time this video gets produced, but... Um, yeah, the pricing gets kind of crazy, and I think sometimes it just depends on who's got the gun in the back. So keep that in mind. We're going to check plush to see if I've missed anything. This looks pretty heavily picked over. It's looked the same here for a couple of days. Sometimes they let plush accumulate in the back before they bring their next round out, and so that one's looking kind of stale. But I'm going to grab this Sony remote. Small, light, easy to list, easy to photograph easy to ship. You guys know the drill. I think the model number on this was RM-U90. There's two currently listed, but they're both international listings. And then there was a recent sold on this for $20 with free shipping. I will list mine at $20 and I will charge shipping on it because I believe I'm going to be the only one on eBay that has that. So 20 bucks for that. I'm going to charge shipping, check the rest of this cart in hopes of finding something else that is worth two to three million dollars and we can retire and play video games all day but i don't see anything else here that looks great actually i'm going to move over to another cart here i have never seen this before so this is a nissan like paint lacquer pen the color on this was i think like graphite graphite gray something along those lines a couple of good solds around twenty dollars and they're only asking three for it. I got to pop this open really quickly to make sure it's not a pre-owned pen. And this was a cap on the top, I think, that looks like it's brand new, never used. So I'm going to grab it. Another small and light item, even at $3, I'll take the 20. There's another competing listing that has, I think, a couple of variations. So I'm going to just price match them probably at around whatever they're at. $20, I think, is what it was. So interesting find there. Very easy to store. And I mean, it'll take me a couple of minutes just to get that listed. So good move there. Move over to the glass. Always looking for glassy baby. Very, very hard to find. Haven't seen it in my stores yet. I think somebody just found one in Ohio. I don't remember. Maybe I saw it in a group or I overheard. A couple of them turned up at least in our state so that's fun this was a masonic mug gold brim i thought this would be interesting anyone want to fill me in on what goes on at those lodges like what is that it's a club i'm not uh, a part of but um let me know if you're familiar with it i'm gonna grab this frame here it's a four by six marquee by waterford that's definitely not the bolo it used to be but it's only four dollars it's brand new there's not a single blemish on it so i can i can sell it as brand new it's got all of the tag stickers whatever I'll be very, very aggressive here and price this at $25. Uh, the sales velocity is not that great on it, but it does look like the 4x6 sells a little bit better than the 5x7 does. So that's one of the ones where I'm going to be the most aggressive, most aggressive, lowest priced, 
because I don't want to sit on that forever based on the fact that there are a lot of them listed, but not a lot of them have sold. So one of the rare instances where I'll be priced at the bottom because I want to move it. I do not want to hold on to that item. No other mugs there. Cool pewter piece here. I couldn't really tell what the brand was on that. So I passed up on that. But this is a shoe brand shoe style in particular that you really want to keep your eye out for. So this is a Danner boot. The style here is Mountain Light 2. You can see it's got blemishes on the leather, which shouldn't be a problem. Here's the tag right there. It is a men's eight and a half. This is a major bolo. Please keep your eye out for it. It's a sweet pair of boots. So let's look at them together. Scuffs on the front, that's not a problem. The laces are in great condition. Best part about them is the soles look immaculate. And this is an extremely well-made boot and style in particular. So I'm gonna be the only one that's got an eight and a half. And because of that, I'm gonna list these for $170. I did some deep dive research price-wise already and decided that that is the correct price to have the eight and a half in the men's listed for. But please keep your eye out for that specific style of Danner boot. Danner in and of itself, great brand. Always look it up when you see it. But that style, for whatever reason, very, very desirable, very high priced. Definitely blessed to find those. But that isn't even the best find. So I got to the counter and purchased three backpacks. We're going to take a little bit of a closer look at these backpacks when I get home. I paid $20 for each of these. They were one of those behind the counter specials. So I'm $60 out for the three packs. This one here is a Huckberry Go Ruck GR1. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna price that one and the two others here in just a sec. Okay, here's a closer look of the first one, the Go Ruck GR1 collaboration with Huckberry. I think that the appeal to a bag like this is a couple of things. It's extremely durable, but it's very sort of minimalist. There's no bells and whistles, no attachments. In fact, if you look at some of the solds, if you do a deep dive research on these packs, some people mod them and add handles and whatnot, but Huckberry kept this very, very simple, but it is very strong and um, exclusive. They only made a certain number of these. There's a competing listing right now that's got these listed for, and I think they have two of them for $290. i am going to come in at $300 and I'm happy to hang on to it for a little while if the other two sell before mine. Maybe I will sell mine sooner because uh, my shipping is cheaper for a regional buyer of some sort, but that's $300 for that pack here. The next pack here, and I think this one is going to be pre-owned. This looks cosmetic. I think I can wipe it down, but this is an Evergoods um, Civic Half Zip 26 liter pack here kind of the same along the same lines as the other one so i'll have to just touch it up a little bit but i mean it feels so firm i don't think i can sell this no tags on it or anything so i really can't sell it as brand new but this pack here looks like it is selling pre-owned for around 160 170 so i think i'm going to price mine in that same price range for that one, I paid 20 for this. I paid 20 for this one. And the last one here, even though the tag says used, the tag is still attached. This is another Evergoods. This is the same as this one. Not the same, same brand, but a different style. This one is the Civic Panel Loader. You go to Evergoods website right now, these are offered and they are in stock for $300. With the tags, I haven't opened the bag yet. I'll check it to make sure, but assuming that that's not correct and that this bag is brand new, they're listed for $300 on Evergood's website. I will come in at $275. So you can see I paid $20 for that one as well. But these were the three behind-the-counter specials, all of them very highly priced. Um, amazing deal. All right, so I spent $106 for all of the items you saw in this video today, and my total listed value for everything comes to $1,240. So another wonderful haul. Thanks so much for coming with me, but it is your turn now. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you like what you saw, 
or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it. That's all I've got for you. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.